Meanwhile, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tadujin Abbas, says Nigeria and South Korea will strengthen economic and parliamentary ties to achieve the fourth industrial revolution in technology, development and knowledge transfer. Abbas said this during a courtesy visit to his office in Abuja by a special envoy from the Korean parliament. Bilateral relations between Nigeria and South Korea date back to 1980. The visit by the Korean parliament serves to strengthen in economic and parliamentary ties. Nigeria has uh, abundant energy sources and Nigeria is uh, the uh, most powerful economic power in the African continent. So Nigeria has resources and, and Korea has technology. So our economies are quite complementary to each other. And in particular, with the launch of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement, we hope that free trade will be further uh, improved. Parliamentary relationship between Nigeria and other countries. It's my pleasure to inform you that um, some few weeks ago, we have reconstituted another committee of uh, Nigeria and South Korea friendship, which uh, is uh, going to be chaired by Honorable Iseji Namdi. Uh, he's the chairman of uh, that particular group, and we hope that in due time, in due course, he will uh, extend the sons and fellowship to your own uh, colleagues in South Korea. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.